Come here. Yes, you, you little blighter. You go to whittle on that statue. Back in my day, we would have flogged you for that. Or hung you. Or hung you, then flogged you. And then hung you again, you whittling little rotter. Don't look at me like that with those puppy dog eyes of yours. They carry no mustard with the likes of me, you know. You wouldn't see Sexton up to no good like that, would you? Well, he can't now, but I know deep down he have seen it the first time. I see the stallion is still in the stable. I do apologize, but me and Sexton were on our regular patrol. Hang on, you're out of breath. Have you just run from another statue you were whittling on? You sure? Because, sonny, me and Sexton will be checking. And if there's any whittled on statues around here, I'll be making a citizen's arrest. Oh, yes. Just look at what this city's coming to. Bending buses. A city where even the buses are homosexual. And that pink in Trafalgar. Poor Lord Nelson. The things he has to stare at. They have that statue of a disabled woman on it for three bloody months. Three months. In my day, to have a statue in Trafalgar, you need to be at least three things. A man? to have killed at least 100 foreigners and to be wearing clothes. Now, the only people defending decency around here are me and Saxon. Isn't that right, boy? He's a bit on the quiet side today. He staffed, you know. Had a good heart, you know, before our evening's patrol. Yes, I'll tell you what's next. A cage full of homosexual dancers and g strings cavorting themselves, dancing, pumping music with primitive beats from the darkest African jungle, pushing their muscular bodies obscenely against the bars, shamelessly rubbing each other. Bad dog! Bad dog! Why did you say those things? I'm not like that. I was never tempted. Stop right there, Sonny Jim. Where do you think you're going? I killed six people in Burma, some of them when I was in the army, so I'm not to be trifled with. They'll lock the dancers in cages so the bloody fundamentalist Muslims can stone them to death. Bloody Muslims. They may be mentalists, but I don't think they're very fun. Well, you run along, but I'll be watching you. And so will Saxon, as he has his eyes firmly fixed on you, depending on which way round I'm wheeling him at the time. Public whittling, it's where it all begins. A man who will whittle in public has a fundamental lack of respect for society. Whittle today, rape tomorrow, murder on Thursday, and by Friday, pure bloody anarchy, civil war, and the queen hanging from the flagpole at Buckingham Palace, possibly having whittled herself. It's a war, and sometimes there are casualties. Oh, Sexton, why did you do it? Why did you whittle on that lamppost? Why did you make me have to kill you? I'm sorry, old friend. But, oh, come here. Come here, thanks. I love you.